Virtual reality is such an important part of design synchronicity because it helps us all get on the same page and understand where everyone is coming from. I'm Drew Martin. I'm an architect and the director of design visualization at Strang. An architect may have a great idea for a really great display wall. An engineer may have a really good reason that that won't work. To get both of those people to experience the other person's reality in a virtual sense really helps us work out the core of the issue and get down to a solution that works for everyone. It's amazing to see how involved people get. And I've seen people with drawings, they never get that way about drawings. They, they only react this way to virtual reality. Really, the power of it is more than just the visual experience. It captures your emotions because it touches something deeper. You're not just looking at something, you're experiencing it. You really have more than just your five senses, and if this was about only the visual experience, frankly, we wouldn't be talking about it. I think for most people, the value of virtual reality as a presentation tool is immediately obvious. You can show your ideas in a more real way than ever before, but it's not just a way for us to show our clients our ideas, but for us to see our own ideas and for us to communicate with other people within our office. What's really great about this tool is the way that it fit into our existing processes where we were already building three-dimensional models of our buildings on the computer and we really weren't leveraging most of that data that we were already putting in. And just by being able to step into the space and take a look around, we're able to do our quality checks and just our gut checks, is, is this working the way we intended for this to work? Most of the problems within architecture, and maybe most of the problems in the world, come from failed expectations, where people think they're on the same page and you don't realize until far too late that everyone had a different understanding of something. And I think that real success in architecture comes from a place where everyone is communicating in a synchronous way. Humans have tried to do this as long as we could write and probably before. We've been telling stories forever, but we've never been able to actually share an experience without being present. And virtual reality is going to allow us to take one step closer to that.